Alright, all you Streetlight Crusaders, and I guess a couple of you wrestling fans out there for the night, welcome back to the Tuesday Night Special! And now it's time for us to talk about what happened during this week's edition of Monday Night Raw from the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Which, uh, apparently according to the maestro, was almost in the triple digits in Florida this week. Yikes! Same thing here! with, you know, thunderstorms and rolling blackouts. That's why I told you to watch the generators. You know, just in case. Just in case. And with that said, folks, Monday Night Raw kicked off with none other than the chosen one himself, the Scottish Terminator, Drew McIntyre, making his way down to the ring, awaiting to hear the answer of what crazy stipulation Dolph Ziggler was going to pick for their match at Extreme Rules. And would bring up some prime examples of a steel cage, no holes barred, or even fighting next to the edge of a volcano with, I guess, sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads, making the second Austin Powers reference in under a week. And for those who don't know, the first one made by Beth Phoenix referencing what happened with Robert Stone and one nightmare of NXT known as Ray Ripley after she got thrown shoes at her, or shoes thrown at her. Yeah, I knew that was backwards, my show. We did it on purpose. But after playing the guessing game, Drew McIntyre would wait for Dolph Ziggler and play the waiting game, only for Dolph Ziggler to keep him in suspense by telling him not only he's not gonna tell him the stipulation at Extreme Rules until the night of the pay-per-view, but would also tell him that he is a backstabber and a liar, only for Drew McIntyre to rebuttal back by saying, I'm also the WWE Champion and don't you forget it, and then he would say, oh, I didn't forget you were WWE Champion, but I also didn't forget the amount of people you stabbed in the back and betrayed to become champion, and as a matter of fact, one of the people you stabbed in the back is here tonight in the form of Heath Slater. His former brother in arms in 3MB here tonight actually in tears and almost put me in tears too about the way that he was left behind and betrayed by one Drew McIntyre. Even mentioning the fact that the last time they talked was on the bump and on the bump Drew McIntyre said he would petition to have him in a one-on-one -on -one contest for the WWE Championship. And instead, Heath Slater would find himself on the unemployment line, and he would be here tonight to cash in on that opportunity. Only for Drew McIntyre, who was still broken up to see his friend on troubled times, would then not only get pushed, but slapped into the face, and then would have this one-on-one -on -one match, not for the championship. And even if it was, let's just say this match didn't last long because Heath Slater, who came out like a house on fire, would beat the crap out of Drew McIntyre in the corner, but would take too long to take off his shirt and would get his head taken off as well with a Claymore kick for Drew McIntyre to win this match via pinfall. But after the match was over and while Drew McIntyre was walking up the ramp, Dolph Ziggler, who was upset about the results of what happened during this match, would then try to shove Heath Slater for Heath Slater to shove him back and for Dolph Ziggler to do a double leg takedown and try to beat the crap out of Drew McIntyre's friend. For Drew McIntyre to hit back toward the ring, tried to help out Heath Slater, only for Dolph Ziggler to run away up the ramp and say, oh, we'll fight at Extreme Rules. Only for Drew McIntyre to help up his friend Heath Slater, give him a good old hug, for them to do the classic 3MB celebration one last time, hopefully not, for them to just, you know, celebrate in the ring. Now, I'm really hoping this isn't the last time we got a chance to see Heath Slater on TV, because he's looking a little bit different. And the quote for the T, he's looking real jacked. He's looking real jacked. <laughs> so I would really love to see him more in the near future. 
And besides that touching 3MB reunion, folks, the next thing to take place on Monday Night Raw would see none other than Kyrie Zane going one-on-one -on -one against Sasha Banks. Now, the only reason this match is taking place is because backstage, Sasha and Bailey, who would ignore an interview from the interviewer backstage that I completely forgot the name of, would then see Asuka backstage celebrating and taunting for the announcer or the backstage interviewer to say, why are you singing and dancing when you don't have anybody to back you up? And she would say, who said I was alone? Only for her to still dance around backstage for the, I guess the golden role models or whatever they call themselves on SmackDown to say that they're gonna become multiple champions as of Extreme Rules only for Asuka to come out to burst their bubble by telling Bailey you're not ready for Asuka and Sasha you're just not ready at all only for them to say you're saying all that stuff up the ramp but you're alone you don't have anybody to help you for her to say the same thing she said backstage only for none other than Kyrie Zane to make a return to Monday Night Raw. And during this match, Kyrie Zane would make a big return in a big way, not only pulling off a very impressive sliding D and even an interceptor spear during this match for near fall, but would also be able to counter the Meteora during this said match and even suffer the wrath of the Meteora for near fall. But ultimately, this match will come to an end again after, and oh, we forgot to mention, a series of palm strikes by Kyrie Zayn during this match, and even a standing blockbuster on the ground to gain some momentum, would see Kyrie Zayn about to apply an elevated version of the Texas Cloverleaf, only for of all people to interfere in this match, and no big surprise here, in the form of Bailey, who was at ringside, knocking out Kyrie Zane, only for the referee to disqualify Sasha Banks for Kyrie Zane to win this match via disqualification. Now, after the match was over, none other than Asuka, who was also at ringside, would interfere after the match was over to beat the crap out of Bailey, only for Sasha Banks to try to pull her off. Then for Kyrie Zane to go to the friendly skies and pull off a beautiful insane elbow to both of the champions. Now, would this be the last time you would see Bailey and Sasha with their shenanigans on Monday Night Raw? Nope, because we would see none other than Asuka and Bailey going at it later on tonight in the main event for Monday Night Raw. Now, I'm not too entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure this would be what the second outside of the whole thing with Seth Rollins probably the second week in a row that the women's main event in Monday Night Raw not bad not bad at all but besides that main event match in the future folks the next thing to take place on Monday Night Raw would be the return of the Kevin Owens show but before then we would see a backstage attack or at least Alistair Black wearing a Rey Mysterio mask with Seth Rollins saying, Oh no, everybody back up, back up. Man, that's a shame. Only for Seth Rollins to come out and instead of accepting the t-shirt of Kevin Owens after their WrestleMania match, which was a KO Mania 4 shirt, yeah, we would end up seeing... Seth Rollins saying that now with Rey Mysterio medically cleared, he's here tonight not for the fun and games of the KL show, but to finally challenge Rey Mysterio at Extreme Rules to finally turn him into a sacrifice like he should have been in the first place. Only for Kevin Owens to say that not only does he not accept the offer that Seth Rollins gave him earlier, which was the fact that Kevin Owens is going absolutely nowhere in his career since his shattered ankle that he received at WrestleMania, probably from doing that big boy senton from the top of the WrestleMania sign, and would say that he was not going to join Seth Rollins' disciples, only for him to join up with another person in the form of Rey Mysterio to replace his tag team partner Aleister Black, who was attacked earlier tonight. 
and would also add the stipulation that whoever wins that tag team match will name the stipulation of their match at Extreme Rules. And what would Seth Rollins say in response to all of that? Oh, this is all perfect, because he would come with a plan in the form of Murphy attacking Kevin Owens from behind beginning this match. And during this match, Seth Rollins would try to use every dirty trick in the book to try to win this match to gain that stipulation by not only grabbing Dominic and trying to blind him, causing Rey Mysterio to try to get disqualified, but also threatening Dominic right in front of his own father to get disqualified. And even right when none other than Aleister Black who in the closing moments of this match tried to come out and even tried to attack Seth Rollins with Seth Rollins in a Jesus Christ pose to quote Soundgarden all tried to get himself disqualified to win the stipulation of the set contest but all of that would come up short because while Seth Rollins was trying to sacrifice himself for the quote unquote greater good Dominic on the outside of the ring would then try to gouge the eyes out of Murphy, giving enough of an opportunity for the 619 kid to hit a 619 on Murphy into a frog splash for Kevin Owens still hobbling on one leg after it was worked on throughout this entire match to throw Seth Rollins into the wall and for the team of Rey Mysterio and Kevin Owens to win this match via pinfall. And after the match was over, Seth Rollins would have a look of horror in his face for this year's Extreme Rules when Seth Rollins heard that Rey Mysterio wanted an eye for an eye and would say that he's gonna rip the eye out of the head of Seth Rollins for their match. So what type of match Rey Mysterio is looking forward to during this Extreme Rules for this year? that the announcers would say, oh, since now he wants to rip his eye out, now it's really gonna be a horror show. Bleh. Man, get out of here. <laughs> and I got a feeling it's gonna have to do with something with, I guess, the outside of the ring covered with very sharp pencils or stairs. I don't know, but knowing Rey Mysterio, it's gonna be something gruesome. And with that gruesome match to look forward to in the near future for Extreme Rules, I think it's time for us to head back into the music and when we return, we'll be back with the second half of what happened on Monday Night Raw from the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida, right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 